Hey, this is Double Bar. I wanted to tell you that Anchor by Spotify is a great and easy way to make a podcast with everything you need in all in one place. Anchor has the tools to allow you to record, edit your podcast straight from your phone or your computer. When hosting with Anchor, you can distribute your podcast to all listening platforms like Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and more. It's everything you need to make a podcast in one place. Best of all, it's totally free. So go down the Anchor app or go to Anchor. .fm to get started. This is the Let's Roll Podcast with your host. What's up, everybody? It's your host, the Rolls the Most Double R, and this is the Let's Roll Podcast. Today's episode, What I Like on YouTube. I talk about what I currently like watching on YouTube and some of my favorite channels and much more. And we're going to do all of that and more right after this. <laughs> Let's talk about what I like about YouTube. Well, I like Bevis YouTube. Um, it's primarily what I watch majority of the time. Uh, we don't have direct TV or cable. Um, we do have streaming apps. We do have the internet, but we don't have any satellite or cable service here where I live. That being said, we barely even have local TV with an antenna outside, so we don't really even get that good a reception. So when it comes to watching things, we're, you know, we're limited either to the streaming apps we have or I like YouTube. Um, I also have a, actually two YouTube channels. Well, I actually have more than that, but there's only two that I actually do anything with. And one is a gaming channel called Double R Gamers with a Z instead of an S on the end of game, Gamers. Um, and that is my video game uh, channel. That I have. And then the other one is the Let's Roll podcast channel, um, which I'm trying to get at least 100 subscribers so I can shorten the URL uh, because right now it's just a bunch of symbols, numbers, and I want to shorten it down to where it's, you know, youtube.com slash Let's Roll Pod. So if you want to and would like to, if you find the channel on YouTube, uh, please subscribe. Help me reset. 100 subscriber. Once I hit it, I can do the deal. And if you want to go back and unsubscribe, feel free if you want to. Uh, currently, I use that channel to upload old episodes of the podcast. Uh, every Saturday, uh, an older episode will come out in a uh, videogram uh, uh, video. So it's not really a video of me sitting here recording. You know, I like I... I'm planning on and still working on recording myself, recording the episode so I can make videos out of it. Uh, mainly because of, uh, cause I wanted those videos to go on Patreon. But once they kind of run, run a little for a little time on Patreon, then I would release them on YouTube. So that's future plans for that channel. Um, but I've been watching YouTube ever since YouTube started to become popular. Um, I dabbled with putting videos up on channels, but not really doing it, like, like really getting into it like most people do nowadays. Uh, early on, I had a DJ uh, YouTube channel because I own my own DJ service, and uh, I started to put up videos that I did, uh, uh, memorial videos, like, like slideshows or videos of remembering someone that passed, and I had done one for my grandmother. I've done one for my uncle. I did one for a friend of mine's husband that passed at the time. Um, so I was doing that, but there's only a few of them up there, and um, they're not listed. Like I don't know if you if you go to my channel, you probably if you could find the channel, which I'm not gonna say what the name is, because uh, it's more of a private channel. Um, you could probably see the videos, um, but I don't think you can search for them. I could be wrong. But I'm not here to promote that. I'm here to talk about what I like about YouTube, what I, what my favorite things are, and stuff like that. So why do I like YouTube? I like YouTube because it gives someone the ability, just like a podcast, to create something. For creative people, it's a really good thing. You know, it's a really good outlet. It's finding fun and creative ways to make videos. And uh, we're, we're becoming such a, a visual video connoisseur or you know this country 
wants to consume those things and they enjoy consuming those things. When I started my gaming channel, I thought, well, I like to play games and, you know, yeah, there's a lot of channels that people play games and um, I mainly wanted to do it just to play games, have people come and chat with me in the chat when I'm streaming or try to do some helpful videos here and there. My primary game when I started the channel was GTA 5 Online and I have a lot of tips and tricks of early thing, earlier things, not so much newer stuff that's in the game, but earlier things and I did some tips tips and tricks i did some streaming a little bit but streaming even today is a little difficult because our internet connection is not very well very good so um so that's when i started that channel of course when i started a podcast i was like okay i need a youtube channel for podcasting eventually so i went ahead and created it and then like i said before i'm uploading old episodes to that for right now uh i do post some videos here and there um on that on the podcast channel um but i watch youtube for a lot of different reasons like main reason i watch youtube is every time i ever have a question about doing something or or trying to find out the best product in, in a particular product or you know basically it like like youtube is a visual google like you can put google you can put anything google into google search anything but if you really want a visual and want to see what, what to do and how to do it, and then YouTube's where it's at. You go in there and put in anything, you know, practically anything that you want to know how to do something. Um, for example, I got a Cricut uh, cutter, the, the, the uh, vinyl cutter. Well, I didn't know very much about it, but I bought one, and while I was waiting for it to get here, I started watching videos on how the, the machine works tips and tricks, all kinds of stuff, educating myself before I even got the product. Same, same thing about podcasts. When I decided I wanted to start this podcast, then I dove head first into YouTube, learning the ins and outs of podcasts, what I should do, what I shouldn't do, what are some good resources, this and that and the other. Am I a professional podcaster? I wouldn't consider my, me a professional just yet, but I am learning, and I'm learning almost every time. I record an episode, you know, I come up with ways, like, for example, they say lay out your show, right? Well, I'm not a very good reader, speller, have dyslexia, so it's really hard for me to write down or put down on paper or whatever what I want to do, what how I want to say it, stuff. Well, I found ways to do that through YouTube by different programs you know, being able to dictate to the computer or the tablet, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And I use Google primarily. I use the Google Drive. I use Google Docs. I use pretty much all Google stuff to put together my podcast shows, um, you know, as far as the outline goes. So, but going back to YouTube, so anything that I want to learn how to do some, a product that I want to learn more of, anything like that, YouTube is my first go-to. And many times somebody calls me and goes, hey, man, I, I really want to know how to do blah, blah, blah. I'm not sure how to do it, whatever. Uh, like even, for example, my aunt and one of my mom's friends asked me about the cricket. And I simply said, because one, my, my aunt lives in California, so she's not anywhere close to Texas. I just told her, hey, go to YouTube. Put in your question in YouTube. There will be a bunch of videos that come up. Just start going through the videos and find them the one that you understand or it speaks to you or you know shows you what you want to know said the same thing to my mom's friend youtube is where it's at learn whatever you want to learn on youtube um so that's a good thing about youtube it's a good source or a good platform to source the information you want now let's go on to the entertainment or uh, giving your information obviously youtube has probably billions if not more channels than any platform probably out there and you can find information on a variety of channels about a variety of subjects i like i watch several wrestling channels about wrestling since i don't have cable i do have streaming so i can watch wwe but i can't watch a lot of the other like a aew stuff like that so if i want to catch up on what's going on in those promotions see some stuff then I look for highlights on YouTube. 
I look at these channels that report and give you what's going on in wrestling. So I watch a lot, a lot of wrestling channels. Um, I have one channel that I can name off the top of my head that I watch, and that is or Ordinary Adventures. I watch that channel uh, just because I like the couple that's on there, and they show you stuff like, I'll say it like this. Most of the primary, their channel is them going to, like, Disney World and all these theme parks, and they've kind of branched out into going on cruises and stuff like that. Well, personally, I wouldn't do a lot of those things physically. Like, I, I don't see the need going to a theme park if I can't take real advantage of what the theme park can offer. Uh, same thing. Cruise is a little bit different. I would, I would like to go on a cruise. The only, my only concern is like when we get to port, skimming on and off the boat easily, and then wherever we cruise to, am I able? Um, do I have the ability to get around? And thing are things accessible where we're going? That's my only concern. Uh, but I watch their channel because it gives me, it, it almost allows me to be on their trip. Virtually, in a, in a sense. And they're funny, and I, I like, oh, you know, I don't watch every single video, but I do watch that channel a lot. Like I said, I watch a lot of wrestling channels. I watch the John, John Campia show to get entertainment and movie, you know, things. I don't always agree with him, but, you know, he, he in one way, I, 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 I uh, respect him that he just gives his opinion. It's his opinion. But his delivery sometimes is like, why you gotta be, you know, uh, I'll just say an ass. But again, I always think like, it's okay to give your opinion, but do it in an entertaining way. Don't do it like, I'm just not gonna do that because I don't want to do that. Like, play along with your audience. Hey, your audience and your, the people that support you, you know, will ask you a question that you normally don't like to answer. And it's usually most of his questions that he don't like to answer are like, well, who would you cast in, you know, the new upcoming Batman movie? Well, he doesn't like to answer those questions because he doesn't really care who you cast as long as they're, a, you know, a good actor. So that's kind of like examples or like he doesn't want to do top 10 or top five or whatever. You know, he don't want to do any kind of answer questions to that. Uh, but I do watch him. I watch some of the people... Uh, that used to be on Collider. I watch some of their channels. Um, what else do I watch? I think mostly all of my... Oh, of course, I watch, like, I'm subscribed to CNN, MSNBC. I'm subscribed to a local channel, like, news channel. Subscribed to to uh, David Peckman show, I think it's called. Um, just by me seeing those few channels, y'all obviously know that I don't watch any real conservative conservative channels. It's not that I lean one way or the other because I I truly believe that I, I'm not one way or the other. Because there are some con conservative values that I, you know, agree with, and there's some liberal values I agree with. How do you want to say that? But right now, for me personally, the conservative party, the Republican party, has not said anything to me that, one, would get me to want to vote for anybody, and they don't have ideas. They have all I ever see or hear, and, of course, it could be because of what I watch, but I try to mix it up. I try to make, I try to watch a little bit of everything. only channel that I will not watch or YouTube channel that I will not watch is Fox News. I'm not doing that um, because... Fox has leaned very heavy to the entertainment, non-Porter-style show. Yes, do they have news on there? Yes, but even their news is kind of iffy. But the the ones that are bringing in the viewers, I just can't stand. I, I just they don't say anything of value to me. I don't hate anybody, so don't get on. Don't get that twisted. Like, oh, well, you hate all these people? No, I don't. I don't hate all of them. You know, I respect you and your re and your opinion and your views as long as you respect my opinion and my views. Like it, it's okay to disagree. It's not okay to to disagree and say I'm a lesser I'm lesser than you. Like that's not okay. So that's why I don't I don't view a lot of conservatives and stuff like that because 
their view is the other party is lesser than them. I don't see it that way. I, I, I don't, that's not a, a good look, if you want to say. Um, other channels, uh, now I will watch all kinds of different channels uh, and not subscribe to them. So, um, like I started watching one, uh, I watched one the other day that had a uh, Lamborghini Countach, which is my favorite vehicle. I've always wanted one. And this particular channel, they found an, like one that had been sitting in a garage for craziness like that. And they're a de the channel is a detail, a detail, detail company or business or whatever. And they part of their channel is restoring, not restoring the whole car, but cleaning, detailing the car to get it. Like this guy kept saying in the video, I'm not restoring this car. I'm just giving this car in a condition where it can be worked on safely without all the, all kinds of nastiness that was found in this car. So I watch stuff like that. I watch anything that kind of gets suggested to me that I find, might find interesting and I watch it. Um, like, like there are some podcasts that, that not only do I listen to them on Spotify, but they also have a YouTube channel and they put up their episodes and at night I will put their channel on and listen to their episode and have the screen off of my tablet or whatever I'm watching it on, have my screen off so I can just listen to it and go to sleep. So that's mainly what, uh, I watch in, in a few channels that I, I like. Uh, do I think that YouTube could be a bad thing? In some cases, yes. Um, but I'm all for people being able to express their opinions, you know, their experiences, you know, stuff like that. But there's a, there's a fine line when it comes to, is it your opinion or is it something that you think is truly a fact and it's not? Like, like, and Mac falls into the conspiracy theories and stuff like that, that I, and I'll watch some of those videos and listen to what they got to say, but um, I'm pretty strong in that I don't fall for a lot of BS. I'm not saying I've never fallen for BS because I have, but for the most part, I don't, I don't take everything I read or hear or see to heart and think, oh, that's, that's, oh, that's truth right there. Um, I look at things in a very common sense uh, view when it comes to stuff like that, like, okay, common sense tells me this, this, and this, and this video is telling me a couple of things opposite of that, which doesn't line up. So that's, but I still watch the videos to get knowledge. Uh, I like to look up old stuff on YouTube, um, but YouTube is probably my number one go-to thing for pretty much anything. Um, it's what I enjoy the most. I had the premium where I don't get the commercials. And then, of course, I have a lot of my... Um, I know this episode didn't have a, a break, really, in it. Maybe it did. Maybe it did. I, mean, I don't think it had one break. See, I've been talking and rambling um, so long that I forget what I've done. But anyway, uh, let me see if I can think of some of my real favorite channels. Like I said, there's Ordinary Avengers. There's uh, Walt, uh, Walt Culture uh, Wrestling. There's uh, Going in Raw, which is wrestling. Uh, hang on, let me let me take a break, and I'll be right back after this. All right, guys, we're back, and I, I just wanted to go grab my phone so I could sit here and look at what channel I have subscribed to. Uh, like I said, I'm subscribed to and watch John Campia, Cult Culture Holic. Wrestling, I know I didn't say that, I butchered that name. Uh, the Jim Cornette channel, I watch uh, Stephen Larson's Going In Raw, Kevin Smith, MSNBC, Wrestle Talk, Christian Hara, John Roca. Those guys are from uh, Collider, or used to be on Collider. I watch Ashley Burton. She does, uh, she's a millennial that does uh, movie, old, old movie reactions. Like, she watches movies that she has never seen or anything. Uh, I watch The Real Rejects, Ordinary Adventures, as I said. Uh, Pagey, uh, which does, uh, his show is all about the CW, uh, like, Flash and stuff like that. Uh, I will, I ha I'm subscribed to Gary o uh, Owen, Walk Culture Wrestling, uh, Emergency Awesome, 
David Patman show. Uh, yeah, I may even subscribe to Kelly Clarkson. Um, Saint Fan is a channel uh, that's a, fail, a fellow gamer but does a lot of GTA videos. Uh, I watch him occasionally. I watch WatchMojo.com. Maya Bialik, I watch her channel because she has a podcast that she does too. Uh, I subscribe to the hashtag OILife dash osteogenesis imperfecta channel, and I currently have a interview up on that channel uh, with the host that interviewed me. So make sure you go check that out. That's a hashtag OILife, all one word dash osteogenesis imperfecta youtube channel and uh i currently uh interview with uh from the host or the host interviewed me on that channel uh the episode is double r uh of course i got the local news channel uh uh watch a, a channel called jennifer maker because of cricket i mean i could go on and on i, I watch all kinds of variety of different things um so i enjoy youtube uh, YouTube is a good thing. It could be a bad thing too, but anything, could, anything good for you can also be bad for you. <laughs> it all depends on how you use it. Uh, but thank y'all for hanging out with me tonight or today or this episode. Thank you for hanging out with me on this episode. Um, I, got, I know it's kind of a rambling one, but I just wanted to kind of talk about YouTube and hope you enjoyed it. Uh, make sure you check us out on our website, thewestworldpodcast.com. Check us out on, on social medias. Uh, consider becoming a Patreon member. Uh, some old episodes of a podcast I did back in 2011 with a friend. Uh, T. Rich, Tea Time with T. Rich is the name of the podcast. Those episodes will be available on Patreon only. So if you want to go listen to those old episodes and see how how cringe, <laughs> how cringe they are. I only say that because, you know, what ability we had back in 2011 versus what I have today is far superior. But anyway, you might want to check those out. We also have an episode uh, with me and T. Rich talking about our podcast. Also, the time that we spent, uh, not only me coaching him, but me and him coaching youth. It's called The Disabled Coach. Uh, the podcast one will be called The Original Podcast. Uh, so look for those in, in the future. But as always, until next time, let's roll. Hey guys, Double R here. And make sure you check us out on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, Patreon, and our merch store. Follow us on all of our social media.